Hello. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. After yesterday, or well not yesterday's, yesterday I decluttered, but last week's video you saw, <laughs> I um, decluttered all of my new makeup and I am so inspired right now to just create something really pretty. And I thought I could do something purple vibes because I saw that Luna Beauty by Mini MUA um, palette there. I need to check that you can still get it, but the purple tones, like literally just... I can't stop thinking about them and I shared on, I shared a picture like a throwback one just on like a ask me a question thing on Instagram and I was like oh my god I just love purple like I don't think I'm gonna go anything like do anything this intense today I don't know I've got a plunket meeting later so we'll see but I just want to play with some pretty colors so I'm just using some of my pink hair clips just to clip my hair out of my face and yeah I'm just gonna like dive into my new stuff drawer today and just I don't know, we're just gonna play around. Oh my God, color coordinated. I've also got some stuff I'm testing out for EXO Beauty. So I might use a couple of other things, but let's just see. I am not gonna do this for every draw because if you watched my last video, you saw how stacked <laughs> some of these trays are. But here's a look at like some of the new primers, foundations and things we've got. New and backups. Some of the stuff I have tried, but you know. First I've got this um, skin glass by Natasha Denona, I believe she changed the name because I think there was another brand that had a product with that kind of name first and there was like a whole thing about it. I don't really know because I'm pretty sure it all happened when I like gave birth or something. I don't know, I just remember showing this on my Instagram stories and someone like gave a quick debrief but I'll figure out what it's really called and I will obviously link it down below but I believe the product's still the same. So we'll try this out. This is the Natasha Denona yeah, Energizing and Hydrating Primer Serum. So I'm just gonna give it a quick shake. I love the packaging. It's got like a flat edge on one side and then it's like curved on the others. Like it looks very, very luxurious. And it's got like a dropper. I love the frosted look and the white. Like it's just very nice and you can put that on your countertop. It just looks like fancy. Ooh, it looks like super shiny. Can you see that? Like pearlescent. Okay, next declutter is definitely the primer drawer. I keep saying that. I've got scratches, stretch marks, like everything all over my boobs, honestly. This baby has sucked the beauty out of me, literally. All for a good cause though. This smells kind of weird. Kind of smells like my grandma's makeup bag. Mm. I mean, it's not disgusting. This feels really unique though. Like it feels like different to anything else I've ever used. It feels very smoothing and like almost like I'm like coating my face in butter. I don't even know. It's like whipped and buttery at the same time. Very silky. I feel like that amount of product was the perfect amount to cover my entire face. I feel like the finish looks stunning. I feel like this would look beautiful without putting makeup on top too. It feels so good. Surely this is like super expensive because it is Natasha Denona. $91 on her website. A lightweight primer serum with a dewy plumping finish. Yes, it does feel plumping. Like it feels like it just pushes out all of your pores and like wrinkles. Infuses your skin with up to 72 hours of continuous moisture while balancing oil in the T-zone. And it gives you an instant glowing complexion and fresh baby skin feel. Yes, it does. Those claims are correct. I low-key love it. My skin feels so good. Like plump, definitely plump. Today I end up whoops, trying out this Ciate Dewy Skin Glass Glow Skin I can't talk. Glass Glass Glow Skin Tint. Why can I never pronounce any, honestly? I've got heaps of different colors here. And I can't remember if I ever ended up trying it, but I think I'm gonna use it today. The lighting is doing all sorts of weird things because it's, it was like super sunny and beautiful. Now it looks like it's gonna piss down with rain. The weather is definitely improving it here where I live and I'm so happy. I love summer, I'm so excited. This is Tinted Balm with Vitamin C, Dragon Fruit and Yuzu Extract. And this is the packaging. So yeah, I've got heaps of different shades. I'm just gonna guess and see if 30 works. I think I'm gonna either be 30 or 40. That's the color that 30 is. I'm gonna get rid of, donate these colors here. So I've got 90 and I've got 20, two 20s. Although I might keep one of the 20s if I love this because it'd be good for me when I've got no fake tan on, which is often these days. Okay, so this is the shade 40, 040. I almost feel like I'll be like a blend of them, don't you reckon? Maybe I'll have to mix them. 
I guess we'll just do that. So I'm just going to apply a dollop extra because you know me, I love my foundation. And then I'm just going to use my angled face brush. Does that color good? I feel like that's almost perfect. So judging off the name, I'm assuming it's not going to give a lot of coverage. More like a tinted moisturizer kind of vibe, I'm assuming. Glass glow, so I assume it's like, yeah, shiny. I mean, it looks shiny right here. You can get this from Mecca. I'm just having a quick look at the claims. It's rated quite high, four and a half stars with 58 reviews. It's got quite a few different colors as well. Semi sheer skin tint with a glassy finish. It's vegan. Balmy formula delivers natural coverage without feeling heavy or tacky. And it also is infused with hyaluronic acid. So I think this would be very good for people with normal to dry or dehydrated skin or mature skin if you just need that extra like hyaluronic acid moisture kind of boost. People say it stayed on their skin despite their gym workouts. They love it for every day. It covers up their redness. I feel like it didn't go far. Like the amount of product I put on only did like the top part of my cheek. Like I couldn't even get it down my neck. So maybe it would be better with a sponge or fingers, although it's quite thin. So would a sponge just soak it up? I don't know. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that on the rest of my face. I'll just speed this up, do fast motion, and you can watch me blend it in. And for reference, I have on the EXO Beauty Fake Tan right now. Um, I applied it yesterday, just one coat. And like that's the kind of color and yeah I think I would be like quite in between two shades which is never like super ideal but to be honest I could use the lighter one and then just add bronzer and it would work fine to be fair something I like about it is I feel like you don't have to blend it a ton like I kind of smoothed it around at first before I started really buffing it in and it kind of just like diffused and looked really good without even like proper blending which is funny and it does look really natural I can't see any like harsh lines or anything. It's super glowy. So if you love a big glow, glass skin look, yeah. It definitely gives you that kind of vibe, I think. All right, another product I'm pretty sure you can get off Mecca from memory. It was Mecca or Sephora, I can't remember, but lots of people were very confused when I posted this on my stories. People were saying that I was tagging the wrong company because I tagged Smashbox and it's a Becca product, but literally Smashbox with Mecca, Becca. Not Mecca, Becca. I'm pretty sure it's on Mecca because I remember getting all confused because it was like a tongue twister, Becca, Mecca, whatever. Either way, I'll link it below. But Smashbox has purchased the Becca formulas for some of their like hero products, like their um, champagne pot, but they renamed it, I guess, because maybe they're not paying like Jaclyn Hill royalties or anything anymore. I don't know how it works, but that was like her color she created with them. Changed the internet, it was iconic. Such a pretty color. Um, and they also have put out the under eye brightening corrector. I think I tried this ages ago, but I'm gonna try it again. I've been loving under eye correctors lately. You guys know that if you've been watching my videos because hello, I don't get much sleep now and my under eye circles are like next level. This is so pretty. Like the packaging, so pretty. And it's just, oh, and it just looks so silky and smooth and perfect when it's brand new. I know I'm such a nerd, but like isn't it just so satisfying like when it's all glossy like that? Anyway, I'm about to ruin it. So creamy. I don't think you'll be able to see. But I'm going to apply this under the eye with this brush. I'd usually use a sponge. Um, and if you like using your fingers, these go very well with fingers too. But I don't because I just hate feeling like my... I don't know. I think the thing with me, because I always say how I don't really like using my fingers very much with makeup, is I just don't like the feeling of having dirty fingers. You know, like stuff on my fingers. And I'm just flipping the brush and kind of tapping and blending that out. I should have just done one at a time. I'm so... Oh, I get so annoyed with myself when I do this because before and afters are quite satisfying, but you'll just have to rewind <laughs> the video to see what they look like before. Definitely looks much brighter, glowier. And this is the kind of color corrector where it's not super peach, so I feel like you could get away with just using this if you wanted to. You don't necessarily have to cover it with more concealer if you don't need it. I'm just gonna use something I've already opened. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer in shade five. I love this. Just applying a couple of dots and you can see this color kind of almost matches my complexion. Sometimes when you're going for like the coverage to cover the, you know, blue colors and things like that, I feel like darker concealer works better rather than using like a 
concealer that's a lot lighter than your skin tone. And just blending that out, putting a little bit of the leftover on my brush around my nose, like, you know, it's not super red around my nose, but why not? Concealing in my waterline too, because one, you know, I'm tired, and two, the hay fever, it's hitting me again. Now, do you guys remember the technique I used in a recent video? Was it my last, no, I think it was, yeah, my last makeup tutorial. Um, not the one, so I took down my Harry Potter makeup review. I'm getting so many questions about where it is. People are saying like, you know, where did it go? I haven't watched it yet. Um, I took it down because to be honest, I did not even think, you know, for me, I do not associate Harry Potter, which I know this sounds so stupid, but I don't associate Harry Potter with the author. Um, and the author's made some like problematic, um, what do you say? Tweets? She's, I think it was on Twitter. Essentially, people were upset that I supported her empire. I upset some people and I just got rid of the video. I privated the video because I felt bad. So that's where it went. Anyway, the video before that, I'm pretty sure, I don't think it was that video, but I did blush and then set under my eyes. And I'm gonna do that again today. This here is a breast cancer um, foundation supportive color. Does that make sense? Ofra did like a little set where they're donating proceeds. So I am going to use this and probably the gloss later on. It's so pretty. <laughs> like I love this color so much. Hopefully it goes with whatever we do. But yeah, I think I'm going to use this today because some people ask for swatches and what better swatch than actually on my face. So it's stunning, right? But I think I'll do a cream and then put this on top. So I might try this. This is the Serum Blush Liquid by Natasha Denona. Shade 102. It's kind of hard to get quite a lot of product on the applicator. I'm just going to use the brush, oh I got it in my hair, that I put my foundation on with. Oh, that's such a pretty colour. It's very liquidy, obviously, going off the name too, like dark, but yeah, it's liquidy and serum-y. It's kind of sheer. Not sheer. Like, you can still see the colour. It's not hard to work with it. I think it's probably a good thing, you know. You could build it up, I'm sure, which I'll probably try. So I'm just going to add a bit more. I'm really committing here. <laughs> this colour is insane. I love it. I'm doing quite a big area of my face because I'm going to tone it down with some powder and bronzer and everything. I just want it to be kind of intense still. Making sure to blend it kind of close to that under eye because we're going to do the little powder trick next. So pretty. It blends out so evenly too, it looks so natural. All right, I bought an under eye powder. I was gonna use my Huda Beauty, but I'll use something new. So I bought this off Beauty Bay, I think. It's the Inglot Smoothing Under Eye Primer. Wait, powder. I'm like, no, okay, powder. On the website, it kind of reminded me of like Well Rested Vibes. I don't know, let's see. So I'm using my powder puff, powder puff. Sitting under the eyes and blending that down onto the top of the blush. And it just, I don't know, it looks so seamless. I don't know why. It just, it just does. It works so well. Oh, and that was like the perfect mattifying vibe as well. Just to like set off that um, glow from all the base products. I do feel like this powder kind of emphasizes my under eye wrinkles. Maybe I've applied too much. I'll have to experiment with a brush. But on the like skin, <laughs> it looks so smooth. Like on my like pores, it hides them so well. So I'm just gonna use a little extra powder on my actual face. I'm gonna go around the lips, around the nose, between the brow. Look at that. Oh my God, it mattifies so good. I'll do like where this wrinkle is because otherwise foundation often sinks into it. I'm sure about this for the under eyes, but beautiful on the face. Now I'm just gonna commit and go in with the Ofra Cherish Blush. Straight away, I love Ofra face products. They've got some like whole palettes for like bronzer, highlighter, and blush, and they are so underrated. I know everyone loves the Ofra highlighters, but guys, don't sleep on the blushes and bronzers. They're so good. So I'm using an angled, wait, what's this bronzer brush? And I'm just going to add a bit of this. Oh, probably applied a little bit too much there, but. It's got a little bit of like a glitter, not glitter, shimmer through it. That's really pretty. I'll swatch it on my finger too. That's what it looks like. It's kind of good sometimes doing your blush first anyway, because they do say that your blush is the first thing to kind of fade. I do just want like a touch more coverage on my lower cheeks. So I'm going to use something that I already know and love. This is the Glowish 
light medium luminous pressed powder and I'm just going to tap that oh my god this lighting is so bad right now and then kind of blending it up towards the blush this powder is quite powdery but oh, it is stunning guys if you haven't tried it yet what are you waiting for this is coming from someone that used like studio fix exclusively for how many years between this and the Dior powder like I love both of those I'm just going to use a little bit on my chest as well just to give it a little bit of a glow and even out my complexion even more okay and I know this lighting makes everything look really crap I'm sorry I promise my makeup doesn't look this bad in real life for my brows I've picked out a couple of random things from my drawer so I've got the pink honey wonder whip pencil I love the pink honey what are they called like the brow blue stuff brow soap stuff so I wanted to try this out I hope the color is gonna be okay for me come out I love the packaging, it's so cute. So it's double ended, it's got the spoolie and then the product and this color is called Creme Brulee. And I feel like it will be good. Oh, just extending the tail of my brow a little bit. It's very good, like it's a good match with the color of my eyebrows right now. It's like a soft brown kind of color, I would say. I'm just gonna fill in some gaps. I actually quite like this. It's like, creamy but not creamy where it goes all like goopy in the brow you can still get a nice sharp line and it seems to like really stay quite sharp i'm just gonna blend it with the spoolie can you see the difference i don't really know overall i actually like this more than i thought i would i didn't think i'd like have an opinion on it really i just thought it would just be like another brow pencil but i quite like that and then we have the Extra Hold Brow Glue by Revolution. I was browsing their website the other day because I haven't tried anything new from them in a little bit. I think I'm going to have to make a purchase. I wonder if this is actually going to hold well. Did I say what it was called? I can't even remember the brow glue. It feels very thick and sticky as I apply it. I hope it dries. It's leaving like little balls of gel when it like kind of settles. Like that looks really good straight away. But if I zoom you in on the other brow, can you see like where it's like, I don't know, it's like rolling down the hairs and leaving these little like balls of product. I'm gonna use my finger. Okay. I can feel it drying. Like it feels sticky at first, but it dries down hard. Like hair gel. <laughs> So I'm just gonna, while it's still sticky, this feels so gross, but I'm just gonna press it down to kind of like get the hairs where I want them until, you know, it sets. Cause next thing it'll set and then you won't be able to move them. Like just here, I've got some crooked hairs cause I didn't realize how much it dries. Whoa. Yeah, it feels like solid crunch once it's dry. I feel like this could either go really good or really bad. Like right now I'm like, that's awesome, but we'll just see. Because hopefully no dust and stuff gets stuck in them. And like you can see where it's on my skin too. Might just use like a bronzer I already love. Let's do this. I haven't tried it. I mean haven't used it in a little while. The Nabla Skin Bronzing Umbra. Applying it kind of on my brow bone. And then up to my temples. My cheekbones. This is such a pretty colour. Down the nose. I'm going to kind of put it where I would contour as well. Even though it's warm, it will just help to give it a little bit of shape. I don't care about looking chiseled. A little bit under the lip. See how that blush is kind of just melting into all the other products at this point? That's what I was hoping would happen. It looks really good. And then whatever's left on this puff, I'm just gonna put back over top of the edges. So pretty. I think the skin looks amazing. The brows don't look too bad. I'm just gonna like go over the edge though, where the like glue touched my skin and just like put a little bit of powder on top just to mattify it because it's like shiny which is like random but yeah it definitely glues your brows down like the name brow glue accurate man i love that bronzer i forgot how much i love it yep so this is still available this palette phew it's so pretty cute theme for halloween <laughs> moon spell so something wicked this way comes volume two get ready to enchant this 20 shade color palette filled with deep burgundies and gorgeous plums who's the baddest witch in town you are with the spell casting palette so cool huge huge mirror so you can kind of like hold it that way but it opens like a book i don't know you do you the colors the colors though they're so pretty i'm gonna go in with the shade sally because i just feel like that's the best kind of 
chill shade for like a transition just to give a bit of shape before we dive into any of the colors this brush is a kylie brush first one i grabbed i'm not using primer today because i forgot this is really pretty it's like a neutral but it's not because it's like peachy really nice color very easy to blend i'm gonna wing it out a bit and i really need to wax my eyebrows can you see all those hairs man the pigmentation's really nice on this too do any of you guys on um, here play Overwatch, by the way? Because Overwatch 2 launches today while I'm filming this, and I'm so excited to hopefully jump online later today and give it a go, provided the servers don't crash. <laughs> but yeah, I'm hyped. Tell me what your main is, by the way, if you do. I feel like not many of you guys play it, but if you do, please, yeah, let me know your main. Okay, that's looking really pretty. It's just like orangey tone and I love that because orange and purple are quite complementary. So it'll just make the purples pop even more. Oh man, I really just don't know what colors I wanna use. I feel like I wanna use a bit of Alex cause it reminds me of Saint Germain lipstick. <laughs> I'm kind of putting that on the inner corner. I'm literally like just sminking stuff on. I have no idea where this is going, but I don't know. That's kind of how I like to play with eyeshadow most of the time if you guys no, you know, oh, I've actually saved some inspo pics to my Instagram though that I want to try and recreate, like some makeup artist pictures um, of really cool looks. Like this one I saw the other day, oh my god, but it's like way too intense for today's makeup scenario with meetings. Do you guys like listen to what comes out of my mouth honestly? I don't even know what I'm saying half the time, it just, it just spews out. That color is so cool. But we need more purple now. I'm going to go in with Jillian, this matte purple shade which goes pretty good with my top I'm using the same brush just so that the colors kind of melt I'm blending that up to the crease the color blends into the pinkier color really 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 well like almost too well I feel like we need a little bit more variation so I'm gonna go into Hilda which is a little bit more you know dark deeper and add some of this just to create more dimension. Winging it out. Using what's left on my petal brush. I'm gonna sharpen it up a little. This is like the concealer and everything we used earlier. Taking a smaller brush. This is a crease detail. I'm taking Hilda again. I'm gonna run that underneath. Adding some more Sally. Speaking of Sally, I miss Sally so much. <sighs> Adding a little bit of Sally underneath. I'm really enjoying this color just to kind of warm it up and it goes really nicely with the like, you know, bronze skin. And luckily the blush I think looks good with the eyes. Can you see how much it's faded? Like now it's super subtle. Do I need to add some more? I don't know. Well, I feel like when I move my skin around, my face around, you can see it. I'm gonna take an eyeshadow brush and what color should we pop on? The lid. I feel like Misty could be really pretty. I am so drawn to Luna because it's like a chunky glitter, but I just feel like something a little bit more subtle today. So let's try Misty. This looks pretty. I'm gonna literally just pop that straight in the center. It's so pretty. It blends in really nicely with the colors we've used, but it's just got like a little bit of like a goldy kind of reflect or like a, what even is that? Like a champagne gold. I'm just gonna build it up a little. To be honest, I could wet that and it would look really good but I can't be bothered <laughs> you know what let's just try a little bit of the Luna glittery color as well I really don't want much though but just in the middle is it even going on I feel like you need to use your finger with it look at it you know what it's not as scary once you apply it it actually is like kind of wearable like it's pretty and it's not chunky or creamy, you know, like the ColourPop ones that look like that and they're too creamy and they like sometimes go everywhere. It feels just like eyeshadow still, like it's really cool. I am so impressed in this palette. I think it's stunning. I'm so happy. I'm just gonna blend the edges of this a little bit more. Now I have something I'm trying for on Beauty right now. I feel like the further I go, the more and more this just ends up looking like that photo I showed at the start. That's still way different, way different. Let me check. Yeah, way different, 
way 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 different this is way more like light and pinky but it's like deep and witchy <laughs> let's try a new mascara because we all know i've got plenty i'm trying the stretch it out ultimate length mascara by revolution because i want to see if we can find a really good super affordable product i hate stuff that's got plastic on it like this i can never get it off i feel like this brow glue left my brows looking quite shiny hey like maybe you need to use this first and then put like brow like powder on top or something. Like it definitely works well, they're not moving, but I feel like there's better options out there that don't leave your brows looking shiny these days. I love the look of the wand. Sorry you can hear all that wind outside. I want more product on the wand. It really gives you like nothing on there. And I'm just feeling underwhelmed. Like it's not even like coating the ends of my lashes easily. Like I'm really having to like mess around with this for ages to like get anything on my lash. I know you're not supposed to do this, but I just want more product on there. Usually, you know, you get too much on a wand, but yeah, this is a no from me. It looks so natural. Like it's not actually on the tips of my lashes. Stick. Makes my lashes look shorter than they really are, which is weird. I'll pop on something I like, like this Major Pleasure by Nabla. First of all, it's more of like a clay consistency. That one was kind of like tar, I don't know. And like immediately look, that was one little coat and it's already like the same as the other eye. This actually sticks to the lashes. That's one single coat and look how much better that is, in my opinion. But it's okay, we're gonna use um, falsies, so I'll just whip this on the lower lashes too quickly. I'm gonna add a coat to the other eye, just to add a bit more thickness. I mean, like I said, we're using falsies, so it doesn't really matter. It's just gonna annoy me though. I'm sure you could like build up the other mascara and like add lots of coats, but it just takes too long. I don't like mascaras that take ages. I'm going to try out the Hoodie Flares number 25 by Huda Beauty. Cause why not? Something a bit different. I'll zoom you in. So there's these chunks, flares and individuals. You don't get many really of each. So I don't know how much these cost. Like unless you're using a mixture of all of them at any one time. Like, you know, if you just wanted to go in with the individuals, there's not really enough. You'd only get four on each eye. Do you know what I'm saying? But it's cool to get lots of different ones. I guess you can create different looks. Let's just see what happens. Taking the like little individual lash first. I'm gonna do two of them, starting from about where like the white of my eye is, if that makes sense. Oh my God, I've already ruined one because they glued too much into the, I've ruined two. I can't get them out without ruining them. I literally went all the way into the base to pull it out and the glue is too strong. So it just, it like rips them. Can you see what I mean? These ones, like, okay. I used my fingers, I had a bit more success. There was just like one hair left behind. I don't know, you just have to be so careful. I'm gonna try and use this one that I broke and just hope that it kind of stays attached. <laughs> I don't wanna waste it. It does look a little bit silly. Nah, it's, I'm, okay, no. We'll go in with a fresh one. You have to be so careful, guys. These would look cute. Um, underneath your lashes as well. You guys know how I like to kind of put them like from the bottom But we're just putting them on top today for whatever reason. I didn't really think about it. This one's gone drunk So I'm just gonna take it off and re-put it on This is I should have just done a strip lash like my lashes already looked shit from the mascara and now I'm doing freaking individuals it looks kind of weird from the side right now. Okay, let's try some flares the dramatic flares on the very end These are long I feel like these are gonna be way too long, but we won't know until we try. Do you hate when they stick to everything? These are so fiddly. They're sticking to my tweezers, to my fingers, just everything. Do they look silly? A little bit. What am I, like why am I, I've got somewhere to be in half an hour, why? Why am I doing this? I mean, they look cool like, from some angles and terrible from other angles. Like I feel like they look way too carnival. I don't know. <sighs> I like the individuals, the top row. I feel like I would prefer just a like a whole tray of them. They just are not my favorites, but 
I will keep them because they could actually come in handy like to put on top of a strip lash if I wanted to just like make a strip lash more like you know full on but just on my natural lashes I just feel like they're too much. Let's try these. These look really pretty. Eco Lashes by Ardell 453. They're like little crissy crossy babies. They're not too long. Hopefully they'll just add like just enough you know drama. Here's before and after. It's very subtle but I like them. They're quite wispy. I'm pretty sure what the idea with these lashes is that they're like biodegradable or something like that. I can't remember. Please don't peel off. Oh my god. I'm having such issues with everything being sticky right now. I need to wash everything. Shh. See what I mean? I'm going to add mascara to them. To make them more bold. Because they're kind of like the same length as my natural lashes. And I just want to like build them up a little. These are really nice lashes if you like natural. So that's just giving them more volume, so it's making them stand out a little more, you know? So once again, we're using this lip color. It's like a lip gloss. I might just put it on top of like a lip pencil. So I'm just gonna find a new one, which I think, you know, will look pretty underneath. I think this one here, this is Kylie Can't Talk RN, because it's just like a nice nude. And I think it'll go nicely with that color in our crease. I need to trim my nose hairs. Honestly, some things I should just say in my inside voice, eh? like inside my brain, not like out loud. I'm way too comfortable. I'm gonna go get some lip filler soon. I miss my pregnant lips. How funny is that? They were so plump during pregnancy. And now, I want it back. I haven't had lip filler in so long. I only get like a tiny amount, like, I can't even remember how much I got, like a third of a mil or I don't even know, just like enough just to like, add that volume and like smooth out the wrinkles and it makes such a difference. I don't think I could ever have like a mill but you know I feel like it look, would look just not right on me. Love this colour. That's so pretty. I might actually just use a little bit of liquid lipstick. This one is Topless by Laura Lee. It matches almost perfectly. I mean let's be honest I'm gonna remove my entire lip combo after I'm done so I can kiss my baby but all right and then a little bit of the gloss it's called love I'm just gonna swatch it on my hand so you can see it there so it's just a nice peachy color if you share it out you can see you know what it looks like share too I'm just gonna add it in the middle Last but not least, let's apply a little bit of highlighter. I've got this LH Cosmetics Infinity Highlighter right here. Using a face detail brush. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty on top of the blush too, because the blush has that glow already. I'm just using a little amount of this. It looks super like pearlescent. Doesn't look chunky at all. Just hits the light real nice as you turn your face. Applying some of this on at the brow bone as well. And I'm also gonna take some of this on my inner corner. That's real pretty. I didn't really think I'd love it that much because like in the pan it kind of just looks like whatever like other highlighters I already have but the formula is stunning. It's so fine. It like gives a real spotlit kind of look. That's so pretty. I feel like most of the products we used today were a hit. Even the brow glue which I'm not like super sold on because it's got some cons like it still like looks pretty good. You know you can make it work. I feel like the lashes were the thing we had like the biggest mirror with today. I don't know. I love the skin. I love the blush. Like I think, you know, the blush looked crazy at first and now look at it, it's so subtle and pretty and it just peeks through and looks perfect. So yeah, highly recommend doing your blush first. And then at the very end, if you think you need more, you can just add some more. So I'll talk to you guys in my next video, I guess. Let me know what you want to see next. Bye. <laughs>